Hello Virgo, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. <clears throat> everything has free will, not everything is going to resonate with everybody. And please keep in mind that roles could be reversed between you and that person. If that applies, I remind you that I do not run a daycare. So just know that this is entirely generous, so feel free to take or leave whatever you want. And with this said, let's see what the universe has for you. Oh my goddess let's see so we got the ace of cups in reverse the emperor in the reverse the five of pentacles in the reverse the eight of wands the star the eight of wands the star and the ten of wands um and the temperance in reverse so i do see here uh pisces and scorpio aries so at this right now some of you are heartbroken or unhappy about a situation with somebody uh, you have been waiting for them to call or to reach out they haven't i feel like this person is just not ready to communicate with you because uh <coughs> excuse me they know what you expect of them they know what you want and or expect from them and they know they at this right time at this very time they can't give you that or offer you that um with the five of pentacles and the eight of wands right here i do feel that um there's a need for you to let go of control we have here energies of earth sign which is of course you taurus virgo capricorn and the eight of wands going back to fire leo sagittarius aries of course we have here a very very strong aries here but either way i do feel like you are not letting go of control in a way not you are not letting go of control in a way and um i do feel like communication is coming but it's gonna come and within time is right i feel like you're trying to rush things or you're trying to like get communication happening like for example tomorrow and it's just not like that because your person the same way as you you both have free will but communication is coming it's just gonna uh, be in between four weeks to four months you're not gonna have it tomorrow or by this weekend um with the star right here and the ten of ones right here taurus i do see aquarius energy i do see leo sagittarius energies um i do feel as well that you are besides the point getting a the dream of your job uh, the job of your dreams i'm sorry the job of your dreams and you're going to be moving i do feel like it's going to require your relocation as well but that job that you so want that you have been wanting or applying or so is coming you just got to most likely you will have to like move more like most likely oh my goodness you will have to move but besides that that's that i do feel like divine timing is over i do feel like that communication that you want is coming it's just gonna take a little bit longer than what you want because you want it tomorrow and you're gonna get it past that okay what else is coming for Taurus though <sighs> I do feel like you're gonna be in between two lovers here we got somebody here who happens to be a Scorpio energy who is a newer energy and then we have here the devil which is represented as Capricorn and we got four cups Pisces Cancer Scorpio and the king of wands right here so okay so we have here a third party situation or a love triangle or I don't know yeah let's call it a love triangle so I do feel right here that a newer energy is coming your way a newer energy is coming your way here is happening and with the sort of sign that happens to be a Scorpio energy this is somebody who is everything you ever wanted is very cool very attractive nice person um, honest I do feel like you are too stuck on somebody who is a player we got here capricorn energy this person plays you the way you want yes they're going to communicate with you yes they're going to come back but they're not going to stay because they're just players and at this point you should know this and if you were to see this individual you need to know that you are not going to get anything different besides what you have been getting for so long now you need to move your your keys properly or your or your aces properly 
because you can either or be on either of these two situations if you go with the past person you're going to be on the four of, of cups because you're going to get your high hopes even though that you know you shouldn't but you're going to and they're going to leave you again or you can actually be embracing the new with somebody who is hot attractive who is fun sorry guys who is fun and who wants to be with you and who wants a relationship um you need to make clear your intentions and what you desire in life do you want to continue in this heartache and this betrayal and this i don't know why he or she doesn't stay or why he or she don't want me or you want to be pretty much out of the blue out of like the the i don't know drowning in in a cup of water or you want to continue fighting for something that is just not gonna go anywhere because I, as I told you, you don't get to tell people how to act. People act how they want. And if this person, after all this time, hasn't given you what you want or hasn't been uh, honest with you, I mean, what do you expect change happening? Um, I do feel right here that you need to start accepting the reality with the past person and stop saying, oh, they, he or she can change. They just don't change because look, the Ten of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they're not going to give you the family. They're not going to come back to you. They're not going to want a stable relationship. If you guys were married or if you guys had something, it's just not going to happen. That is the past. They just want to hit it and leave. You know, they don't want anything serious with you. And you have to understand that also most likely they already have somebody else and they won't tell you because again, they don't respect you and they are not seeing for anything serious to be honest they just want something and then leave I mean I'm not gonna even waste time there cuz you already know what is the best advice for Taurus when it comes to love mother please you're the only one with ace of source and that can make a change in your life Taurus, you are the only one who could either or keep you in the dark or get you out of it. You are the one responsible for the destiny of your love. I do feel with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, at the bottom, Scorpio energy, that you want change, but you want change that feels like it's the same and that just don't go together. Change is different. Change is new. Change will never feel or it will be the same change is that change you know and i do feel like you don't understand that at times and i just so you know um change is necessary because you have been in this dark place for for a minute you know and i do feel like new beginnings are wanting to come in there is a promise of somebody who is extremely attractive and extremely good to you they could also be spiritual as well they could also like traveling and whatnot but you need to understand that for this person to come in or for this situation to work with this new possible individual you need to accept that change implies that people are going to leave your life and you are going to encounter new people you know and i do feel like you are not willing to make that sacrifice just yet or you don't understand that you have to be courageous to make that sacrifice of letting go of people who no longer serve you because not everybody in your life is meant to stay some people are just there for a minute and then they did what they needed to do show you whatever lesson needed to show you and then they go but the fact that you don't welcome change the tower because you continue to want this individual to be the romantic person that they're not you want this person to be the, the person they used to be, which they're not. And they're not going to give you what you want. They're not going to give you what you want. And that's something that you need to understand. And you go like, but why do I have to get what I want from somebody else? Because the person you want don't want you back. That's simple as that. This is unrequired love. And I don't want to break your heart, but I just need to bring awareness. The person that you want from the past don't want you back. They don't want you the same way. They will never want you the same way. If they wanted to, they would have, and they haven't, and they won't. So the new energy is coming in, and you're rejecting this, and you want to continue to be on this third-party situation that you're putting yourself in and keeping yourself in distance keeping yourself in solitude keeping yourself in solitude keeping yourself in this unwanted and, un and unhealthy situation when you can literally be on the lover's energy with somebody new this is a newer lover but the fact is like you don't want to cross that 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 river you don't want to cross the ocean because you don't know you're like i just don't know if i should i just don't know how it will look like 
baby it's gonna be 10 times better than whatever you have been going on right now and i do feel like you need to understand that because you are not happy right now you are in the five of cups energy you are drained giving the love to whoever don't deserve it single or on an unhappy situation when you can be the queen of wands but the fact is like you don't need to you don't want to understand that for you to get out of the nine of swords which is libra gemini Aquarius energy which is just uh, anxious unhappy stress not worthy of your time energy you need to let go and move on because what you want is coming it's just not coming from the person you want they're gonna call you yes but they're not gonna give you what you want they're not gonna fulfill they're not gonna fulfill your emotional needs they're going to continue to hurt you and you have to be prepared for that and i'm telling you if you take them back go for it but it's just look look it's not gonna change there's no reunion happening here so i just need to tell you that's what you're getting that's what you're putting yourself in the newer energy is here but the fact is like you're not letting them in anything else for taurus again full aries energy new energies new propositions new ideas new horizons new 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 a new love possibility seven of cups you don't need to double guess it there's somebody that is honest somebody who look at this four ones in reverse that if you accept them they're gonna make your heart dance somebody who likes to dance somebody who loves life somebody who will treat you like a queen like hubby or wifey energy you know giving you your place but you need to stop contemplating the past and you need to start moving on from it otherwise you're not going to receive this with the six of swords right here moving on sometimes it's been very hard i do feel like you have been going through hell and back and i can see that and i do understand it's hard i knew i do understand it's hard because this thoughts and and energies of like what it could have what if he comes back the right way the nine of pentacles everywhere they're not coming back the right way they're not coming back for the right for the right decisions they're coming back because they want to be intimate with you because they like your body da da da, da. but you need to understand that once you let go even though that is hard and healing can take a minute Things get better, bigger and better, to be honest. But you need to understand that things are going to get better, but only if you move on. Look at this. There's a new energy. Again, the king of wands, somebody who's stable, somebody who could be a very strong Leo. Not necessarily, but it could be somebody who is a leader, somebody who's honest, somebody who's faithful, somebody who is well, uh, economically stable, somebody who is... Who is um, possible loving father or mother um somebody who is an equal towards you they don't make you feel less than what you are they don't make you feel that you need to compete you know look somebody who don't like to argue somebody who it's peace it's like gives you peace of like a breeze of breeze of new air fresh new air i don't know why i said it like that with the wheel of the world in reverse right here but i do feel like it's hard for you to picture that it's hard for you to picture that possibility because you have been in such an intense connection with this person and you're like but i just want him to be him or i want it to be him or her but the fact is like i'm gonna tell you something that might break your heart but you need to hear this the same way you want it to be him or her is the same way they don't want it to be you the same way the same energies the same intensity just two different two different emotions look you're running and chasing a memory you're running and chasing what could have been you're ch uh, running and chasing what it used to be you are in love with the past not with who they are right now you can't accept that things outgrow that things change and you continue to run something that is already a memory that's already the past and i'm asking you how long are you going to continue that because i'm telling you something new is coming but you continue to chase the devil capricorn something that is just not changing devil energy capricorn energy they're not the one for you king of swords heavy bears they're never going to do things right and I do feel like you need to let go. You need to let go for your own good. Because look at this. As I said before, the three of ones and the lovers. 
something new is coming that's a soulmate and i know that you see this person as a soulmate the past person but they're not they're not a soulmate that was meant they could have been a karmic soulmate a karmic twin flame but they're not gonna stay noble you need to accept that things are over and then you need to move on and the new is here but you need to allow it you need to heal okay you need to heal with a hermit take some time of solitude say your goodbyes with that person so you can accept the real deal the real deal is here wants to come in look a loving charming energy who wants to go on a date with you who likes to give you bouquets somebody who is loving i do feel like valentine's day is gonna be the time you meet this new energy but don't be don't get me wrong just because you meet them if you don't act right you're gonna lose the new person so you better just do something boo -boo, because you're gonna uh, miss out out of an opportunity with somebody new who is the real deal for you let's see what is the final messages here with this oracle what else can you tell me for virgo i'm sorry for taurus maybe you're dealing with a virgo um okay communicate and it says compromise forgive work it out intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later look at this again communicate compromise forgive work it out and intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later date night as i said before get ready to be wined and dine like i said the newer energy wants that the new energy wants look you can with well, the new energy you can actually commitment things are getting serious you can actually get married to the new energies we got water signs cancer scorpio pisces um, also some of you may be traveling soon on a vacation also some of you may be getting a new pet just fyi um, i also see a honeymoon phase for others of you uh, they want to say yes luck is on your side which is not that bad and okay we got here someone else and it says someone is in the middle someone is trying to sabotage this like i said before there's somebody else in the energy that with the person that you want so far the person that you want so far that's the past person it says my goodness narcissist and it says someone is too full of themselves guardian and it says a lost a lost loved one watches over you and last one here we got um give it time everything is diving is divining okay everything is diving timing let things flow let things flow everything is diving timing let things flow and health health issues could arise so you need to be careful with your health with your cholesterol and all that and your depression um pressure i should say because you're getting stressed over the wrong person over the situation you have enough in your plate towards uh please 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 consider to move on because like i said before the red flags you ignore is going to come back later to bite you let's see this could be the possible initials of the new person because i'm not wasting my time on the past if you know who the past is that's that okay so we got here Jason, Jason, Ian, and Edwin, CS and Kate, or Carol, or Kat, or as an Oscar, Z as and Zane, L and Leo, uh, S and Sam, V as and Victor, M as and Michelle, and U as an Umbrella. So those are the possible initials of the newer energy. So this is the end for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to win a chance of a free reading. Make sure to subscribe to my channel because every time my channel gains a thousand subscribers, I host a free reading giveaway. I'm waiting for my channel to gain that goal, so give it a minute. Also, every month, I'm going to choose one or two lucky subscribers and where I'm going to give them or read their um, cards on a YouTube short. Um, like I always say, please don't email over that. Uh, once I know it, I'll make a video and you guys will know exactly how does it work for anybody who's new. Um, also, most likely, I'll show you my social media. So if you follow me on Instagram, I always follow you back. I also have a TikTok. I have an upcoming project of, um, on my Patreon. I'm going to be launching it soon. I'm going to be offering their tarot reading classes as well as uncensored reads and much more. I also have a smoke on Facebook that I'm trying to grow. I also... Um, 
have a website for personal reading so if you want to book with me you want to go online you want to always go to the description box below and there's the link and you can book directly over there you can also book directly on my instagram if it's easier the book now button is always on the bio and you can book directly it'll take you to the same website a friendly reminder that i do not take requests outside the uh, website and of course i never offer any free readings outside the giveaways and i never message anybody through any social medias for reading so if that were to happen that account is not my original account and it's not run by me so feel free to report a block with this said guys thank you so much for the love and support and i hope you guys have an amazing day Bye.